Hey guys, this is Kenny with Flytime RC. Today we're going to Maiden the Ultralight. And this is my own design. Um, I kind of made it up looking at the Airbike 103 and just kind of made up the dimensions and basically everything on my own just looking at the picture. Um, and I think it looks pretty awesome. I'm super happy with it. Um, we're going to try to get it up in the air and see if it flies this plane weighs uh 2500 grams so it's fairly heavy but it does have a giant wing it's a 15 inch uh, cord and it's 60 inch wide um i have a 780 kv 28 uh 2826 motor from badass motors and then a 13 by 8 three blade and we're running a three cell uh, 6,000 milliamp battery. So the same battery that we ran in the Eclipse plane and a couple of my other big planes. My hopes for this is that one, it flies, and two, it flies for a long time. Um, this won't be an aerobatic plane. This will just be something to fly um, like a real plane. The power to weight ratio is it's got about 80 to 83% uh, power to the weight, which should be pretty realistic. Um, maybe even slightly overpowered um, but it's not going to be like any other plane that i've built where it's just insanely overpowered this won't do vertical um, or even loops and it might loop if we give it some some power and kind of get some speed in it but um, other otherwise it should fly pretty realistically i have it set up with safe right now so we're going to try to take off in safe and hopefully i've got the cg correct on this and we'll have a flying plane So I'm going to turn on the takeoff flaps, double check our surfaces here. Okay, we're going to get it up in the air. This, uh, I'm excited about this. This has been a ton of work. I've got like, I don't know, 30 hours of work into this thing, just designing it and putting it together. It's still not 100% done, but um, if it flies, I'm going to be really happy. Okay, here we go. No. Oh no, oh no. Oh. Hey buddy. Okay, I can tell you that we are a little underpowered for sure. Oh, oh. oh no! Oh, wrecked. Okay, Yay. it's probably fine, but um, I was running full throttle there the entire time and was flying okay, uh, but I could tell I just didn't have the power to get it up. So we're gonna go check it out and hopefully I didn't destroy it on the first flight. Well, had a rough landing over in the grass over there. It just doesn't have the power um, to really gain, gain altitude very quickly. So, as you've seen, it does fly. It gets up in the air, but it's like full throttle the whole time. Um, so, I do have a 15 inch, uh, 15 by 7 prop um, that I originally got for this that has, I think it's 20, 2600 uh, grams of thrust so it's about 600 more than this uh, propeller um, that we might throw on there and try. The only reason I didn't want to try it at first is because when you get this thing up it gets pretty close to the ground and I know a 15 inch prop will be even closer unless we just nail it and take it right off. So um, I don't know. It will fly. <laughs> it does fly pretty good. It's just that you have to be on full throttle. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, but I think what we're gonna do 
is maybe go home and grab a um, 15 inch prop and see if it does any better. Alright guys, back again. This is the second flight with, this time we're using a 15 by 7 prop. So we have about 600 grams more of thrust than with the 13 by 8. Um, it flew with the 13 by 8 and I was actually kind of expecting a little bit more. I was hoping that um, I wouldn't have to fly a full throttle to keep it up. But it just kept dropping down every time I came off the throttle. So I think with this prop, as long as it doesn't hit the ground once it starts flying, uh, down the down the runway, I think will be good. This will be the prop that uh, gives me plenty of power to get up in the air. Also, um, I took the plane out of safe for this flight because I know it flies, and I I got the fuel for it already just in a couple circles. So um, we're going to go ahead and put the takeoff flaps down and get this sucker back up in the air. Oh. Oh, fudge. Oh, no, no. Alright, well, unfortunately, um, the plane crashed and broke the motor off, which sucks, but it looks like I can bend it back and maybe, maybe repair the motor mount. Uh, that's a freaking bummer. And then... So I just discovered something, and this is probably the reason a 13 inch prop didn't work either. And I might go back to it. Uh, looks like we bent this too. But if we go back here, and look. Um, so this is the, this is the servo and the rod for the rudder, and that seems to be good. But watch this when I do the elevator, see that bend? See how that bends? And then, like if you have it bent, it, the, there's nothing stopping this thing. Look, it's, it's flopping like a fish. So I don't know if, I think the rod is just too skinny uh, to handle the elevator. So what I'm gonna have to do is come up with a, a different solution or maybe even put the elevator servo in the back. But that, that there's no control at all. Like that could be the reason why um, that 13 inch prop didn't work because it's not that it didn't have the power to go up, there is no elevator. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go home and try to fix the motor and um, see if I can come up with a different solution for the elevator. And if so, maybe we'll come back tomorrow and have a flying plane. I'm pretty sure that makes sense. I didn't think about that, or I did think about that when I put it together, but I guess I didn't I didn't pressure test it to see if if um, if those rods would bend because I actually have a, a straw in the back to keep it from bending, but I didn't realize it was bending up front. So either I could add some more support so the rod doesn't bend, or maybe double up the rods. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to come up with something uh, to make that much stronger so that the elevator actually works. Um, it should be a pretty simple fix. And that kind of makes me feel a little bit better about running the 13 inch prop because it might have had plenty of thrust, but we didn't have an elevator and that's why the plane wouldn't go up. So we'll see if we fix it tonight.